You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Road Rants for Black and White Live. The absurd continues to get more absurd when it comes to quarterback Kirk Cousins of the Minnesota Vikings. And what's odd is when you peel back all the layers, Kirk Cousins has never actually come out and said, I haven't gotten the vaccine. Now, he probably hasn't. And as I've said before, I'll say it again. If you choose to get it, awesome. If you choose not to get it, awesome. We believe that is your personal choice, your personal freedom, and that's your decision to make. I don't believe that any employer, any sports organization, any uh, sports team should mandate that to their players. And on top of it, let's be honest, I don't think they should uh, be hammering all these stipulations onto these players too because at the end of the day, they're trying to force these players to do something. And we have found out that these players absolutely, a lot of them don't want to do it. They, I've got another one. I've got a video coming about another player that's come out and said, you're not going to back me into a corner National Football League. And uh, they've, I mean, the amount of stipulations they have on world-class trained elite athletes, and make no mistake, even a guy that is the fifth string tight end on a roster is in the 1% of world-class athletes. So, you know, you get the point. Uh, odds are, and we're no medical experts, but odds are, if, if they were to get the virus, probably not much would happen. Could, maybe, YouTube. And uh, you get where I'm going there as we try to cover our ass. But here we go. Let's do this. Hospital in Kirk Cousins' hometown ends relationship with him over the antivirus stance. Again, I don't think he's ever actually come out and blatantly said he's antivirus. Uh, anti-vaccine. So, Va Vikings quarterback Kirk Cousins refuses to get vaccinated for COVID-19. Okay. I'm, I still don't get that, but okay. Uh, and I've been, I've read every story I can find involving Kirk Cousins in this, and nowhere does it blatantly say, no, I haven't gotten it. Do I think he's gotten it? Probably not. But that's not the point. We're making blatant statements as fact when I don't think they know for sure. And the other thing is, if he has, he's probably making it really clear. It's none of your business to know. As a result, the hospital in Cousins' hometown no longer wishes to be associated with him. Cousins had served as a spokesman for Holland Hospital in Holland, Michigan, the town where Cousins was a star athlete at Holland Christian High School. The hospital announced today that they will cut ties with Kirk Cousins. Quote, while we acknowledge that each person is entitled to their own viewpoints, those who speak on our behalf must support messages that align with the hospital's position on matters of vital importance to individual and community health, the hospital said in a statement. For this reason, Holland Hospital will discontinue using Kirk Cousins as a spokesperson for now. We are proud for our proud of our association with Kirk. He embodies many values we respect and share part of our work culture. However, we must be certain that our communications about the COVID vaccination are consistent and unequivocal. The clear recommendation from the CDC and leading experts is that the COVID vaccine is safe, effective, and the best defense against becoming infected with the virus. Evidence also indicates that vaccinated individuals may be less likely to carry and transmit to others, including children, family members, and friends. For this reason, Holland Hospital has and will continue to strongly recommend the COVID vaccine for those who are eligible to receive it. It is important that Holland Hospital maintain a trusted reputation we have earned for providing consistent, truthful information and evidence-based health care guidance. Cousins obviously can't represent a health care provider at this time when he is actively refusing 
to do the single most important thing one must do for the health of their community. Okay, so, and that is the opinion, of course, of pro football talk. Uh, Believe it or not, that was not Corona Bro and anti-Kirk Cousins uh, spokesperson Mike Florio. That was uh, Michael David Smith. Everybody knows Mike Florio hates Kirk Cousins, and he has forever, even though he is a Vikings fan. Go figure. There's probably five teams right now that would take Kirk Cousins in a literal minute as their starting quarterback. And at this point, frankly, I do wish Kyle Shanahan would have traded for Kirk Cousins. I'm liking Kirk Cousins more and more every day. Um, And once again, Kirk Cousins has not blatantly come out and said he hasn't gotten vaccinated. You know, it's probably a pretty decent assumption to assume he hasn't. But what Kirk Cousins has said is it's his business to do what he wants to do with his body. And he doesn't want anybody to infringe on that. And what's even crazier here is with all the stipulations that the NFL has mandated on these players that choose not to get vaccinated, Kirk Cousins seems pretty satisfied with following and going to the trouble to go through all of these hoops that the NFL has, in my opinion, unfairly put on these players. But he's willing to do that for his belief system, which... Look, I can't do anything but but say. Um, Personally, I admire that. I admire the fact that he has chosen to, he feels so strongly about an issue that he has decided to uh, uphold his belief system and stick to his belief system. system. I I did a video yesterday where um, Mike Florio has, has drug in Kirk Cousins' father, who is a man of religion, a pastor, and he's, he's partially blaming his father for Kurt's decision. Um, and I find that repugnant. There's no way he should drag in a family member into a conversation. Stick to the Vikings. Stick to the NFL. Stick to the quarterback. Stay out of that. That's, it's the lowest common denominator of journalism, if you can claim Mike Florio does journalism. Once again, Florio is really good when he sticks to actual football But he is so ate up over this coronavirus that it has absolutely clouded his judgment. And, uh, boy, he has exposed himself in the last year over this uh, pandemic. Tell me what you think. Kirk Cousins is now losing associations that he's had for a very long time because he is choosing his uh, right to freedom. Um, I I think it's a bad look. For the hospital, personally speaking, because Kirk Cousins hasn't brought the hospital into this. Uh, He has talked about nothing but football, and he only addresses this when he gets asked about it. He's out there to play quarterback. So, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Kirk, um, Kirk Cousins is getting some calls out there, believe it or not, to actually release him. Huh. If, if the Vikings released Kirk Cousins right now, five teams would try to pick him up day one. Oh, and pay him about $20 million to do it. Vaccine or not, make no mistake, they'd understand we'd have a pretty good starting quarterback. Uh, so, peace. I'm out. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.